New at 430, a Memphis family is wondering why someone would shoot and kill a popular Memphis restaurateur, young father, and fiance. Alfonso Turner and another man were shot yesterday in the parking lot of The Table restaurant in Whitehaven. Tonight, Turner's brother is speaking out about his family's horrible loss. At The Table on Elvis Presley Boulevard, it's anything but business. God damn it. They fucking they got him again. They get Elvis. No, but Elvis Percy Boulevard, it, it be you be getting cracking on your Florida. That's crazy. They got it in Florida. They got it all over. You be hearing the pop and shit. Mm. Oh, <laughs> oh, that, that, he's cursed for stealing uh, black people's. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. king. The yeah. the At the table on Elvis Presley Boulevard is anything but business as usual after another deadly shooting in Memphis. This time, the victim is the owner of this Whitehaven restaurant, Alfonso Turner. His brother, William, says their family is heartbroken. He definitely hated this happen, you know, uh, but he was loved, you know, and he loved people. People loved him, and so, you know. He looks like just judging from his brother and him and what they got, they seem like they had, like, I don't know if they was in the street. I don't know, but they just seem like they polished. Well, you know what I'm saying? They came from they look, they look clean stock. and shit. Yeah, they look clean. Yeah, good and stock. Shit. Good, clean guys. You know, I don't know what was going on. This seems like a tragedy. It seems like a tragedy, man. Um, golly, man. Bill Turner. His brother, William, says their family is heartbroken. He definitely hated this happen, you know, uh, but he was loved, you know, and he loved people. People loved him. And so, you know, well, um, we're thankful that at least he's getting attention. Memphis police say the shooting happened around 3.30 Sunday afternoon in the restaurant parking lot. Two people were found injured from gunfire. One of them was Turner, a young man described as a dreamer who loved his family and community. Oh man, he was just always, you know, fun, happy, super talented guy, could do anything, big dreamer. You know, you can see it in a place like this. Uh, this was just a manifestation of one of his dreams. And our community has been saddened by, we don't know who did it. We, we, they, the perpetrators have not been caught yet, but it's a sad day in our community. Earlier Monday, City Councilwoman Patrice Robinson says she met with several church pastors in the Whitehaven community to address this crime problem and help find solutions. The pastors have committed to now spend more time with our young people in the community and sharing with them. And yo, yo, the pastors are gonna spend time with the kids who aren't doing this shit. And that's not gonna make one bit of a difference. The kids who are doing this shit ain't meeting with no fucking pastor. Hell no. They're gonna send you to the pastor. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Yo, I right, maybe Memphis is getting the plywood ready because they're gonna riot. Yeah, because the guys haven't been caught too. Yeah, they, they haven't been brought to justice. They're still out there. The guys who killed this great young entrepreneur and business owner in the community are still out there. Yeah. So yeah, man. And and, that, and that's the sad part, man. That it just feels like nobody gives a fuck. And maybe it's because everybody knows that there's no solution. No, it sounds like yeah. it sounds like it sounds like it sounds like um the people the um the city is backing them and shit because they're saying like he it's, he it's it's gonna be a big loss to the city and shit. He's young. He's been doing a lot of things. So it seems like everybody's talking good about him and shit. You think so? Yeah. I don't know. I mean. We hear them say this kind of shit, and they're really they're empty words. Oh no, I know. Oh, I know he ain't gonna get the big up like like George Floyd and all that extra shit, but they're still like talking about Tyree, it. Tyree Nichols. Yeah, or, or any of them. Yeah, they, they, they seem like they're talking good about this dude. Like they ain't saying funny or any of that other bullshit. They seem yeah, like he's inspiration. True. Seem like he's an inspiration to the neighborhood. Wow, this is this is just so unfortunate. Very sad. Yeah, it's it's like yo. A restaurant tour. 
when the when the last white restaurant tour that that was killed he was probably killed by a black dude like some kind of robbery or carjacking or something but yeah like this guy was like it's not like he was like working you know how like you could have a restaurant but the mob could have their hands in your pocket you owe the mob some money <laughs> yeah like, i mean like sopranos type shit. <laughs> like this is just like regular black right. life mm, damn it's not even like organized crime, you know, pinch like extorting you. This yeah. is just random violence. Just a regular son were in his in the sitting in the car outside of his business, gets gunned down. The city councilman gives like this muted, like generic ass statement about it. And it's like it's just like no, it seems like the outrage should be way more. It it, just, it seems like almost like black people, since he's not a if thugs are like heroes to black people. You know, what I'm saying? you know how it is, man. That, that's our that's our superheroes. It's like if you went to college and all the extra shit. We don't like use a use a lame. Like if you use a yeah. when the speech is like used respect. I'm sure this kid went to college. I'm sure this kid went to college. I'm but, sure he went to college. But but you but this kind of goes back to. a on time ago, Rock, about how some people get mad when gliders do something to them because when they do it to each other, nobody seems to care, you know, and they there's like no outlet for it, you know. In the first time a cop kills a son, man, the the energy from this will be let out too because there is, I will say this, there is sorrow and sadness, but like you said. Black people know other black people don't give a fuck. So that sorrow and sadness is going to be unleashed the next time there's a police shooting. And from all the shootings, and the city's going to let out all this sorrow on that white cop who killed that son. Man. Or in Memphis, the black cops who were agents of white supremacy who killed that son. Whitehaven community to address this crime problem and help find solutions. The pastors have committed to now spend more time with our young people in the community and sharing with them. And I believe we should have been doing this a long time ago. We may not be in this place, but at least they're making that effort now. Back at the restaurant where family and friends continue to grieve and remember, William Turner says his family's attention must now be on the fiance and young child his brother leaves behind. He was a father, you know, he had a fiance and so we're really concerned with how we can uh, love and support the family going forward, you know. But this, you know, uh, it's just a place where his dream lived. Memphis police are still looking for the shooter. If you can help police, call Crime Stoppers at 5. And they're most likely never going to find out who did this shit. 